The three air cards shown have masses, reading from left to right, of 4m, 2m, and m, respectively. The most massive cart has an initial speed of v0. The other two carts are initially at rest. All carts are equipped with spring bumpers that give elastic collisions. I highlighted that for a reason. It's going to be important. Assume the track is long enough to accommodate all collisions. So we're going to find the final speed of the cart with mass 4m. So the collision that's going to happen involving mass 4m will be between this mass and this mass, the 2m. Just for convenience sake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label these masses A, B, and C. So let's talk about part A. And if we're talking about collisions, the first thing we're going to think about, usually, is going to be the conservation of momentum, which says that the total momentum, say the sum of momentum before a collision, is equal to the sum of momentums after the collision. In this case, we're talking about before the collision, the total momentum being equal to the mass of object A times the initial velocity of object A, plus the mass of object B times the initial velocity of object B. This will be equal to the mass of object A times the final velocity, what I'll put down as V prime of A, plus the mass of B times the final velocity of B. And from looking at this equation, I can make, uh, I can make some substitutions right now. I know that the mass of A is actually 4m. I know that the initial velocity of A was given to me as V0. So this is going to be a symbolic answer. I know that the mass of B is 2m, but I also know that its initial velocity is 0, so I'm not going to consider it. This will be equal to the mass of A, again, 4m, times the final velocity of A. Of course, that's what I've been asked to find, so we're going to keep this in mind as the main unknown here, plus the mass of B, 2m, and we're not going to leave it out now because after the collision, some of the kinetic energy from this blue box is going to have been given to the green box here. So we have another mystery variable here, V, B, prime. We don't know what it is, which means we are looking at one equation with one, two unknowns. So in this situation, and it's a very common situation in physics, we're going to switch gears. We're going to try and come up with another equation that can tell us something about either or both of these two velocities and then substitute appropriately. So what we're going to look at in this case, in every case, is going to be the conservation of kinetic energy which says that the sum of all initial kinetic energies before the collision would be equal to the sum of initial kinetic energies after the collision. Now keep in mind, we are only allowed to use this equation. Const uh, kinetic energy is only conserved in the case where we have elastic collisions. This is one of those cases. But it turns out it's a special case, and there's another thing we're allowed to use. We'll get to in a second. Now, conservation of kinetic energy would normally look like this. 1 half ma va squared plus 1 half mb vb squared is equal to 1 half ma va prime squared, final velocity, plus 1 half mb v b prime squared. Now most of this stuff is known and I'll point out to you that v prime of a here and v prime of b are both unknown but that's okay because those are the same unknowns that appear over here. Alright, I like that guy. 
They're the same unknowns that appear over here, which means this equation is helpful. It's helpful for solving the system of, si of simultaneous equations. They're both true, so we can use them and substitute, it, substitute them into one another to get a final result. However, the squares here make things a little bit complicated. Not impossible, but just a little bit more complicated than they need to be. It turns out that since every object on this track is only allowed to move in one or the other direction, they can't move up or down, they can't come in or out of the screen, they can only go left to right, this is known as a one-dimensional collision. So in the case where we have an elastic collision that is also one-dimensional, just trust me on this, we can do a little shortcut, a little simplification of this formula, which is going to look like this. VA minus VB is equal to V prime of B minus V prime of A. That's the guy I'm going to use just because it's a little bit simpler and because I can. So let me do a substitution here. VA, we knew from last time, was V0. VB, 0. So far, V0 is equal to V prime B, don't know that, minus V prime A, don't know that. But it might be helpful to substitute a result of this equation into here. Say, since we were looking for v prime of a, what I'll do here is I'll solve this for v prime of b. v prime of b will be equal to v0 plus v prime of a. So this here, I'm going to slot right in there. Now let's rewrite this with the new substitutions. 4m v0 is equal to 4m v prime of a plus 2m, not v prime of b anymore, but rather v0 plus v prime of a. Now let's just do a little bit more algebra to finally solve for v prime of a. Uh, 4m v0 is equal to 4m v prime of a distributing plus 2m v0 plus 2m v prime of a. At this point I could notice that m appears in every single term. Cancel it out. If you want I could even go ahead and do this. Multiples of 2 appear in every single term. So I could go ahead and cancel all of these replace these with 2's. Right now I have 2v0 equals 2v prime a plus v0 plus v prime a. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate all the v prime a's. I have 2v0 minus v0 is equal to 2v prime a plus v prime a. v0 is equal to 3 v prime a and now v prime of a the final velocity of a after hitting that first block is just one third of its initial velocity the first part of this problem has been solved let's move on to part b the final speed of the cart with mass 2m careful this means after all of the collisions have taken place. Basically, the blue block, block A, has gone on like this, made contact with B, and is now moving at a slower rate forward. Obviously, one-third of V0 is less than V0. B is now moving, well, obviously a lot faster than it was, because initially it was moving at no meters per second. How much faster? Well, we can find out now. So from this equation here, v prime of b, let's make a section here for the part b of this question, v prime of b was equal to v0 plus v prime of a. We already know v prime of a. So this is equal to v0 
plus a third of v0, which means that v prime of b, the final velocity after its collision with, with uh, mass a, is equal to four thirds v0. I'm going to throw out this variable now. It's no longer a final velocity. It's now going to be the initial velocity, what I'm going to call vb. Not v prime, but vb. Because in order to find the true final speed of the cart, I have to figure out its speed after it makes this collision here with the smaller block, block c. So, vb is equal to 4 thirds v0. Let's apply conservation of momentum, which might say that mb vb plus mc vc is equal to mb vb prime plus mc vc prime. And just because we might imagine this will turn out the same way as it did before, let's apply conservation of kinetic energy as well. But let's take the shortcut version by saying, copying this format here, we'll be saying that vb minus vc is equal to v prime of c minus v prime of b. Okay, let's go back to momentum and make some substitutions. mb, mass of block b, equal to 2m. So, 2m, vb, initial velocity, we've now made it 4 thirds of v0. Now mc times vc I could put down, but vc, initial velocity of c, is at rest over here, 0. Therefore I will ignore it. So this is equal to mb again, 2m, times v prime of b, unknown, one of the unknowns that we're looking for, plus mc, which is just an m, times v prime c. Just like last time, two unknowns in this equation. But conveniently, both of these unknowns are answers to this problem. v prime of b is the answer to question b. v prime of c is the answer to this question up here, the final speed of the cart with mass m. There is nothing left for it to collide with. Now, to figure out what these two variables are, we'll go over to this one, vb initial, 4 thirds v0, vc initial, 0, so ignore it, v prime of c minus v prime of b. Those two are the same variables here. So, well, we'll pick one of these arbitrarily. I guess I'll go with v prime of c to solve for. v prime of c is equal to 4 thirds v0 plus v prime of b. Take that, put it in there. Let's get this thing finished. 2m 4 thirds v0 is equal to 2m v prime of b plus m this thing now, 4 thirds v0 plus v prime of b. All right, stand by while I simplify this. I'll start with crossing out some m's. Just give me a moment here, let's fix this. Getting to the end of this, v prime of object b, 4 ninths v0. 
All right, there's an answer. Almost done. Let me go ahead and put this up here. D prime of B, four ninths of V zero. Finally, the last part isn't too hard. All we need to do to figure out part C is to go back to this equation here, which relates the final velocity of object C to the final velocity of object B. V prime of C will be equal to four thirds V zero plus V prime of B, four ninths of V zero. Just a little bit of fractional arithmetic here. We will have oh, 12 ninths V zero plus four ninths V zero. Final answer, V prime of C is actually equal to 16 over nine V zero. Here we go, V prime of C, 16 over nine V zero. and done.